Bitfumes and in this episode we are going to create the update and destroy part for review. So with that I am your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Okay so how we will do that so we have this create route so why not duplicate it and rename it to review update in the last episode we have created that create review create part this time we have to do the review update so obviously on the update you know that there will be a put method and when we are updating anything we have to provide its id okay so here comes the new thing we have to provide the ID on our review list. So whenever we are getting review for any product with all these information, the customer body and star, we have to provide the ID also. So why not do that first and then we will move forward. So let's go here, open app, HTTP and resources, review resource. And here I will say ID and ID will be dollar this arrow id and then give a comma that's great reload send once more and we are getting also the id okay so in that way the consumer of your api know that this is the id and by using this id the anyone can update so it's the job of the consumer of your website so let's suppose you have created this API system and I am consuming your API. So it's my job that I will allow my user to edit or update review only created by that. So my website user will create the edit or update part on review created by that person only. So we don't have to care about that. We just want to update okay so let's update 35th one so for that i have to say 35 and authorization is good body is also good and now we have to send this but let's go to sublime close this close this also go to controllers and review controller on our update method where it is yeah here we have we are getting new request new data for review from this request and old data from this request so why not try to return this and see what we are getting so return uh, review and let's see what we are getting so go to postman send this and we are getting error why this error we have because we are passing two parameters First is the ID of product, second is the ID of review. So what we have to do here, we have to get product also. So here comes product and the last one will be review. So this time if I send, I will get review and obviously if I try to access this product, I can easily get that particular product okay so that's fine but how we are going to update this so it's very simple we just have to say review arrow and that should be like this arrow update dollar request arrow all and then we have to just give this response so copy from here and paste it here everything is good let's go to postman send this route and you can see new review is this so if i try to access 38th product so let's try to access 38th product so product 38 and on the reviews of 38th product i will get these two because i have pressed send button two times so two reviews are here so everything is good 
now let's try to delete any one review from here so let's just save this one save and now we have to again do one thing which is like duplicate rename to delete and this delete yeah and this method also has to be delete review id is 302 302 and let's see yeah 302 and no body no requirement for any kind of body authorization is good send this and again we are getting the same error because we again have to grab product first product then review oops not review first product product then review and then what did it say we have to say review arrow delete and then again the response but this time http no content okay and we have to provide no data also so that should be null here and let's go send this and no content nothing and if i try to send this once more and this time only 301 the review till 301 this means the review is deleted also so this is the way we can do all our these things and i think we have done everything we have done product we have done authorization oauth then product editing part for particular user we have done reviews part so our api series is almost done and i think from my side it's done and if you want you can suggest me and if that will be an important part i will include in this series so i'm hoping that this series will enhance your knowledge about the api about laravel and also about your development career so if you have learned something from bitfumes channel if you think that this channel has helped you in getting the concept you can contribute to this channel you can support this channel via various ways firstly if you want to donate there is a patreon account of patreon.com slash bitfumes where you can go and donate any amount from one dollar to anything up to you you want and obviously that money will go to enhance this channel i will buy more gears and more steps for creating some advanced tutorials other than that you can share these video with your friends with your developer community so that everyone get these things and you will support bitfumes on that way and also you can follow me on facebook twitter instagram go to github repository give this repository many stars contribute there and if you have any doubt feel free to message me because i am always available for helping you i will reply your queries so i will come up with a great new series with some great topic so till then enjoy this series and we will meet in the next series till then goodbye